It's been a while. We've missed her. Y'all, I've is back in the too. kitchen. How are you? I happy am, holidays. Happy New Year to you, happy too. Happy New Year, everything, all of the above, because we haven't seen you forever. Hey, anyways, <laughs> by the way, we're making something different. Typically, she comes in, you make some sort of Indian dish or whatever. But this morning, you're actually going to teach us how to make a superfood. Yes. I didn't know it was a superfood. We're talking about ghee. G-H-E-E. -E. You may have seen it in the stores. You may have heard about it. You may not have ever even tried it. What is it and why would we want it? So in the store, you'll see it as ghee butter. And as I mentioned, you know, this was named a superfood in 2017 because of all its health benefits. It's a great alternative to butter because it takes out the bad fat from the butter and leaves the good fat. We need good fat. I yeah. mean, consensus is we need that good fat. Well, a lot of people went to coconut oil because exactly. of the same for that same reason. Yes. So a couple of things with ghee that are different than coconut oil. It's the burning point, like we were talking about. It doesn't burn as quickly as coconut oil. Right. So you can use it to saute your vegetables, and you can use it more in your day-to-day -day cooking, and it tastes much better than coconut oil. I okay. think. Okay. But let me just say this: she's using butter to make ghee. Let's yes. talk about it. How okay. do we do this process? This is cool because, I mean, I've used it before, but it's expensive. It is very expensive. Uh -huh. So for a jar about this big, you're probably going to pay close to 10 bucks Eight for to 10 that. Bucks, yeah. We are going to make that because I'm such a nice person. So I want to make sure our viewers and you don't you spend amazing. so much money. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to make that with... This is what, two, Just two and a half dollars? Probably I mean, not even that because you bought it at Costco. At Costco, and so exactly. you can get like a, a, what, a pack of four of those for like five bucks, yes. six bucks or whatever And it is. you can use any unsalted butter. Yeah. It has to be unsalted. If you use salted, your ghee will just taste a little bit more salty. Okay. So make sure you're unsalted, but any brand is absolutely fine. And it's so simple to do. All My you wife do, is shaking her head right now because she knows I'm going to go home and do this. And this is as easy as this. So two biggest things to remember, mm -hmm. unsalted butter, mm -hmm and you cook this on low heat. So this has been cooking for maybe the last, what, five minutes yeah, since five I got minutes. here. And you can see how that white stuff is separating out. What that is, is the bad fat. That's all the milk products <gasps> and the water that are coming out through this slow cooking process. So once you get that out, what is left, that clear thing that is left behind, that has more of your omega fatty acids, it has your butrates. So because That's of that, so cool. ghee is a great antioxidant. I so mean, you're getting rid of the bad fats, keeping the good fats, so butter now is good for you. There you go. <laughs> How about that? So, but, but what's the difference between ghee and like clarified butter? Because if you took all that stuff off, you'll have clarified butter, correct? correct? So what you want to do is this is, ghee is not done yet. You want to let it cook. So you have that white stuff that comes off. Yeah. You turn your gas stove really too low and you don't have to keep stirring it or watching it. You can do your stuff, but just don't leave the house when that's happening. Right. Because once it gets to the point where slowly that, that, oh, that white stuff will start becoming golden brown and I let it on the oven a little bit Oh, so little the white stuff today. is the stuff that will burn and then drop to the bottom. Correct. And ah. that then is your heat. So once you get to that point, what you want to do is all these white impurities, which you will still have some, just very slowly take them off. Don't throw them because they are still good. Just lap it on some butter and then you can eat it that way. Then what you want to do is take like a little uh, sieve and then mm -hmm. put muslin cloth on it. And then you filter this so you're further taking away all the impurities. So I'm going to put that right there and see. 15 seconds. This is absolutely amazing. If you've never heard of this, you've never wanted to do, or thought about doing right it, there. or you buy ghee at home, quit wasting your that's money. That's your butter. Right? Or that's your ghee but, uh, right we there. We are out of time. Thank you so much. Look at that. That is amazing.